No, believe it or not, that title isn't clickbait. The video you're watching right now was actually uploaded from a computer running Windows 98. Well, that's what I would have said if this whole thing actually worked, but we came pretty close to actually being able to do this, so here's the whole story. A week ago, I demonstrated Browse Service, a proxy server that an old web browser on an old computer can connect to. This server allows the old browser to browse modern websites, yes, even sites like Netflix and YouTube. It works by utilizing a Linux machine that runs an embedded, headless version of Google Chrome, which Browse Service is able to display on the old web browser through the the use of images. If you're interested in learning how it works in more detail, be sure to check out my original video. But after I recorded that episode, I got the crazy idea of trying to upload a YouTube video through this setup. So let's do it. Now there's three things we gotta go through. Step one, set up everything. Turn on the 98 machine, get the Raspberry Pi out, connect the two with an ethernet cable, and start browse service. Easy enough. Of course, I had browse service already compiled from the last video, so we don't need to do anything else here. Step two is getting a video file on the 98 PC so we can upload it, and this is where things got a bit more difficult. Now obviously I can't show you the uploading of this video while I was still making it, so I had to use another video file as a test, and then do the same thing with this video's video file off camera. You would think it would be as simple as plugging in a USB drive with the desired video file and making a copy of it to the hard drive, but uh, nope. This computer seems to be pretty hit or miss when it comes to USB drives. I've gotten it to read files off of them before and other times, like this time, the system won't even recognize it. Trying another drive brought up the found new hardware wizard, but it could not find a proper driver. Now I could go online and try to find one, but this machine uses USB 1.1 anyways, which is painfully slow, so I'm not going to bother. So it's time for plan B, using the network. I figured I could copy this file over the network as my main PC and the 98 PC are both connected to it via Ethernet. So I made a new folder on the 98 PC, gave it a name, and allowed other network devices to access it. Simple enough, right? This should absolutely work. Right? <laughs> no. For some reason, the 98 PC could see my main computer, but my main computer could not see the 98 PC. So I thought, no problem, I'll just copy the video file to a shared folder on my main PC and have the 98 PC access it. What the heck? Yes, it does exist on the network. Look at this, ping Michael PC. Reply, reply, it gets a reply. Why on earth can it not? This device does not exist on the network. Yes, it does. Oh, Windows 98, you never fail to surprise me. Now I could sit here and try to diagnose this, but I wanted to try a couple of other methods first. Plan C, CD. I promise that was unintentional. Yes, the compact disc, easily the most reliable storage medium to ever exist that has never failed anyone ever. This should solve all of our problems, just burn the video to the CD, pop it into the 98 PC, and copy the video file to the hard drive from there, right? Well, so much for that. I guess this CD drive is on the fritz, so it's on to plan D. Removing the hard drive from the 98 PC and plugging it into an enclosure that I can then plug into my main PC and copy the video file over to it and then put the drive back in the 98 PC and upload the video file from there. You see the problem here? This would have worked if I had an IDE to SATA adapter, but I didn't, so it's on to plan E, more network stuff. Although it said my main computer doesn't exist, the 98 PC was able to recognize my printer, which you can plug an SD card into to share files across the network. So I tried to do that, and, uh... Moment of truth, we're pressing F5, and it's not showing up. Okay, memory, it should, it should be here. Okay, I think I enabled file sharing on the printer. It still is not showing up. What is going on? So keeping this idea in mind, I moved to plan F. Using the USB port on the back of my router, which could also be recognized by the 98 PC. Oh, isn't that beautiful? We're gonna plug it in to the router without, we're gonna plug it in, we're gonna plug it into the router. Should be able to go back, drive, and there it is guys, let's go ahead and copy that over. And this actually worked. Finally, now I can copy the video file to the 98 PC's hard drive and we can get on with uploading. 
Or so I thought, because I discovered after doing all this that Browse Service currently does not support file uploads. I tested this out with Google's Search by Image tool, and sure enough, when you click on Choose File, it just doesn't do anything. I thought that this might be an issue because, again, what we're seeing here are images of the web page instead of the actual web page, as all of the browsing is being done on the headless instance of Chromium running on the Linux machine. We're just controlling it from the 98 PC, but I figured it would be worth a try. Now, I looked into seeing if there was a way to have the video file stored on the Linux machine and then view Browse Service's embedded Chromium window to initiate the upload process from there, but I couldn't figure out a way to get this to work. If this is possible, it probably requires some changes to the source code. However, just like the playback of sound from the client machine, the developer of Browse Service has stated that file uploading may be coming in a future release. So I honestly thought that I wasn't going to be able to publish this video, but then I thought, publish. We may not be able to upload a video from this Windows 98 machine, but we can upload it on another computer as a private video, log into my YouTube account through browse service on the 98 PC, and set the video to public from there. Well, no, we can't. I'm gonna be honest, the vast majority of the footage in this video was recorded prior to me actually trying to sign into my YouTube account on the 98 PC. As it turns out, literally a few weeks ago, on January 4th, 2021, Google began blocking Google account sign-ins from all embedded frameworks. And this obviously includes the Chromium embedded framework, which Browse Service uses. So unfortunately, this stops us dead in our tracks. But it's crazy to think that literally a couple weeks ago, I could have published a video from this computer through Browse Service. Now, it's always possible that it wouldn't have worked back then anyway, but I don't see why it wouldn't. Back in June, the developer of Browse Service uploaded a video of logging into Gmail and being able to view your inbox through Browse Service. And obviously, that's tied to a Google account, so it certainly seems plausible to say that you could have gone over to YouTube Studio and changed the video to public through Browse Service. But unfortunately, it's just not possible anymore, at least with the way Browse Service currently is. So I know this is not the conclusion that we were all hoping for, but hopefully you enjoyed this video nonetheless. If you did, definitely be sure to give it a thumbs up, be sure to get subscribed down below and turn on those channel notifications if you haven't already to get notified whenever I upload a new video, which I do multiple times every single week on this channel. And as always, I want to thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.